Good morning and welcome to Food for Thought. My name is Pastor Clint Lang from Hillside Community Church in 100 Mile House, BC. Glad you could join us this morning. We're uh, entering the second week of Advent. It's December the 8th. That's uh, Tuesday morning, December the 8th. So, peace. This is the theme of the second week of Advent before Christmas. Several days ago I came across an article written by a lady named Kathy Harwood. And she spoke about peace and she stated that the idea of peace in this world just seems too good to be true right now. And we see bumper stickers on cars with the symbol of peace on them. We see signs at churches uh, saying pray for peace. But when we look at our news broadcasts and our internet feeds, you know, we're, we're seeing anything but peace right now. The world is filled with turmoil. It just seems like one story after another just brings up more and more unrest. Yet in the midst of it all, we're encouraged by the scriptures to seek peace and to pursue it. When we look back in the scriptures, we see different characters, and one character in particular, King David, he, he's got a lot to say about peace. He's got a lot to say about different subjects, about being at rest with God. And, and Psalm 34, 14, David says, I, I sought the Lord, and he answered me. He delivered me from all of my fears. Now, I believe it's that when we go through this process of earnestly seeking the Lord, that he leads us to the truth of his peace. And Jesus came to us in lowly circumstances. We see the first Christmas, God-fearing shepherds, Jewish shepherds, were the first that were heralded the good news, and they came to worship the Messiah in that stable in Bethlehem. But also, sometime later, we see that, that God sent a sign in the heavens, and rich, wise, Gentile men also came from the east to worship the Lord, demonstrating that Jesus not only came to bring peace to the very poorest of the poor, but he also came to bring peace to rich men and rulers, men of different racial heritages. David said the Lord delivered him from all his fears. The absent of fear is peace. And Isaiah predicted that the Messiah would be called Wonderful Counselor, Mighty God, Everlasting Father, and Prince of Peace. You see, the same little boy that was born in Bethlehem, we see in scriptures, would grow up to be a sinless man, a sinless life, and he lived his life only to give it up, dying on a cross as a ransom for the sins of the world. Jesus, in his resurrection, however, he rose from the grave as the everlasting deliverer, as the one who would bring peace to humanity, Prince of Peace. Our Lord rose from the dead, proof that he was in fact the Messiah, and later he ascended into heaven where he presently sits at the right hand of the Father. But before Jesus left, he talked to his disciples and he, he said this to them. In John 16, 33, he said, These things I have spoken to you, so that in me you might have peace. In this world you will have tribulation, but take courage, I have overcome the world. So the peace of God that is offered to us is in the midst of tribulation. You know, our world is filled with tribulation right now. There's so much fear. There's so much anger. There's so much turmoil. But in the midst of all of that, God says that we can have peace in the middle of it. In this world, we have tribulation. But Jesus said, don't be afraid, for I have overcome the world. Take courage. Trust in the Prince of Peace. The Apostle Paul puts it well in Romans chapter 5, verse 1, where he says, Therefore, since we have been justified through faith, we have peace with God through our Lord Jesus Christ. My prayer is that we won't get waylaid by the worries, by the fears, by the anger that we see in our society, and that we won't get pulled into it all. But this Christmas, leading up to Christmas, can we turn our hearts towards the Prince of Peace? 
and allow His peace to settle on us. Do not worry, the Bible says. Don't be anxious about anything. But everything by prayer and petition with thanksgiving, make your request known before God. And the peace of God, which transcends all understanding, will guard your heart and your mind in Christ Jesus. There's many things to worry about, but in Christ, we don't have to worry about a thing because the Lord knows the end from the beginning. He knows everything that you're going through. There's nothing that escapes His gaze, my friends. That's something really worth celebrating this Christmas and something to ponder in our hearts. This is food for thought. God bless you.